Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be going through a few more basics on GIMP 2.10. And the first question I have had is, where are all my tools and everything on GIMP? Well, these are called your docs. And to be able to see these, all you need to do is go to the top where it says Windows, and you need to click on this menu button, and you now need to click on this button here where it says Hide Docs. And there we go. As you can see, I now have all my tools to the left-hand side, and I have all my brushes and everything else on the right-hand side. That is how you fix that issue, and I hope that has helped the people that have asked me how to do that. The next thing we are going to be taking a look at is just changing this background colour quickly using the bucket tool. To do this, all you need to do is select this tool that looks like a bucket. And you can now select the colour you wish to use by simply clicking on this first primary colour section here. You have your primary colour, which is always the top one. And you have your secondary colour, which is the back one here, which on my screen is black. I'm now going to select the white one, which is my primary colour, like I said. And I'm just going to change this to a new colour. Let's go with like a blue colour. So all you need to do is simply drag this little line here up and down and it's now in the blue area as you can see and I'm just going to select around here that will do and this is what the colour is going to be where it says current and that's going to be our new colour. You can now go ahead and press OK and we can simply just hover over the open space with our bucket tool and just simply click. And there we go as you can see it has now changed our background colour. And down in the bottom right hand corner, you will notice I did have the background layer selected. On the left hand side, we do have a few more options for the bucket tool. We do have our colour fill, which is the colour we just did. We do have BG colour fill, which is going to be the background colour, which I said is the secondary colour at the start, which is the black one there, and we do have a pattern fill. If I just select pattern quickly, as you can see we have marble selected at the moment. If I now click in the open area, there we go, it's added a marble effect, which is pretty cool, but I actually want to go ahead and select the primary colour again, which is the blue, and just click. Oh. As you can see, what just happened there is I clicked on a certain part of the pattern and it's actually just filled in all the bits of that pattern that it could detect. To actually uh, change this, all I need to do is go Control and Z, which undoes, and then go Control and Z again. And there we go. We are back to our original colour. You can also go to the top left hand corner and click on edit and you also have the undo button here if you don't want to press ctrl and set. You also have cut, copy, paste and paste in place. Right, the next thing I am going to be showing you in this video is let's just put out some text quickly. All you need to do is click on the big capital A. And you can now change the font to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it on Arial. I now need to change my colour, which I am going to actually change this to white. And you can now click anywhere you want on the screen because this will create a new layer for the text. And I'm just going to call this test. And there we go. And I'm now actually going to just select my move tool, so it deselects. And I'm now going to select the A again which is the text tool, and I'm just going to write some more text called test2. And there we go, I'm now going to deselect that by selecting the move tool, and there we go. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner now, we have two layers, one called test and one called test2. These are our two texts. Right, let's look at changing the opacity quickly, because I have been asked, how do you do this? Well, to start off with, first you need to make sure you have the layer selected on which you want to change the opacity on. Once you do have that selected, down in the bottom right hand corner here, where the layers are, above that we have opacity. And as you can see, I have test 2 selected at the moment. And if I now select the opacity, 
and just drag this down keep going okay it's a bit glitchy but as you can see now the text has faded slightly it's gone a bit transparent and we can now see the blue kind of through the text and that is what the opacity does like I said you can change this really easy down here oh okay it was a little bit more awkward because down here I had the two lines with the arrows either side and as you can see it takes a lot longer to change it if you go above halfway up you have just one arrow pointing up and you can change it really quick there we go right the next thing I want to quickly tell you about is the alignment tool to do this all we need to do is go to the left hand side and we now need to go down to this tool here with the two bars well it looks like bars but it's like two rectangles one smaller than the other you can also press Q on your keyboard to select this once you have selected this tool you now need to click on the item or picture or text that you want to align for example I want to align test 2 so I'm going to go ahead and click on test 2 and as you can see now it's selected it's got two well it's got four rectangles on the text in either corner if I now go to the left hand side and I click on this drop down box I can actually select what I want to align it to I'm going to align it to the active layer and I'm now going to select on test which is this one here and if I now click on one of these buttons here it will actually align the test to with just test I'm just going to demonstrate that now align center of target there we go as you can see it's aligned to the center of test if I now go align right edge of the target there we go and we can do that to the left edge as well and we can also go align top edge of the target and we also have align middle of the target and we also have bottom and there we go that is how you align some text with another bit of text or if you had two images this is how you would do it with two images the next thing I am going to be showing you is how to align it with the background you can keep it on active layer that is absolutely fine you now need to select what you do want to align I've already got my test 2 selected as you can see it has a rectangle in each corner I'm now going to select my background and I'm now going to go align to middle and as you can see on my background it does have the yellow and black lines going all the way around and that is how I know I definitely have that layer selected I'm now going to go align center of target and there we go that is the center of the background layer I can now go align middle of target and there we go that is the dead middle and center of our background layer and in fact the entire document and that is it with the alignment tool it really is that simple and unfortunately that does bring me to the end of this tutorial I hope this tutorial did help I hope it wasn't too complicated and if it did help please comment below and like this video and subscribe for more GIMP 2.10 tutorials